Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Figma male and female swimsuit bodies. So yes, here we have the new generic swimsuit bodies. Their names are Rio and Emily, but they are pretty much just characters that Figma invented so they could make generic costumes that you could head swap things onto or if you just wanted generic characters laying around doing things. And they are very effective for doing those things. So if those are things that you would like to do, you can buy these things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have our swimsuit bodies. Here we have our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Of course, Figmas are standard Japanese 112 scale, so they are shorter than a Marvel Legends and, of course, bigger than 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. And when compared to each other, the male is slightly taller, as you would expect. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at our swimsuit bodies. Moving on to our 360 spins, both of the bodies are obviously mostly nude. They do have slightly different skin tones from one another, and both of their bodies are nicely sculpted. The male has on blue swim shorts, and they have a little white tie in the front. And the female has a slightly off black bikini, which has a little tie in the back. Both of them look really nice, look like little generic swimsuit people, and that's pretty much all you could really expect from either of them. And as a side note, there is a second set of these coming out with variations. The female one is going to have a yellow swimsuit, which I don't care about at all. And the male one is going to have a speedo, and it's got a bulge, and I'm going to get like two of them, because I want them, and they're cool, and I want them, and they are cool. Head sculpt wise, the male has short black hair and blue eyes, and the female has light brown hair and brown eyes, and she's got a little bun on the back of her head. You only get the standard expression, so you get no extra faceplates, but you can remove the faceplates from these, so if you have other faceplates that happen to fit in these heads, you can use those. Articulation wise, both of the bodies have pretty standard Figma articulation. The male does have a couple of extra points. I'll get to those whenever I get to them. Head moves forward and back, side to side, rotates. Shoulders move in and out, forward and back, rotate around on the joint. Hinge and rotation in the elbow. Hinge and rotation in the wrist. Nice chest joint, waist joint. Hips move in and out, forward and back, rotate around on the joint. The male has a cut right underneath the shorts. Hinge and rotation in the knee. Hinge and rotation in the ankles and the male also gets a toe joint. So you should be able to get either one of them into pretty much whatever poses you really want to. But it would have been nice to get the toe joint on the female as well. I can only assume that she didn't get hit because her feet are slightly smaller. I don't know if that's a good reason, but that's the only one I can come up with. Accessories-wise, both figures come with basically the exact same thing. You get four sets of hands, two fist hands, two relaxed hands, two open palm hands, and two holding hands. Neither of them come with anything to hold, but they can hold things that you happen to have laying around that are of the right size. And of course, they do both come with your standard three-jointed Figma arm stand. That's a perfectly reasonable amount of stuff, considering these are just generic characters. If you want to add more stuff to them, you probably have other accessories laying around to slap onto them. Packaging-wise, you get almost standard sort of Figma packaging for both of them, but they are both very thin boxes. You get a blue one for the male body, he is number 415, and you get a yellow one for the female body, and she is 416. Of course, you get a window to display the figures on both boxes. And on the back, you get pictures and poses for the figure, and Japanese stuff that I can't read. As always, either of these will be good for in or out of package display. And that about wraps it up for our swimsuit bodies. So until next time, goodbye!